Hey, I'm Andy Slade. I'm here with the works today to help you guys set your rifle up properly. So the first thing we're going to look at is how to properly set up your optic. So starting at this point, we've already got the action in the chassis. There's other videos that are going to help you out with that. Starting right here though, we're going to get you set up with your optic on the rifle. So you can see that I've got this sitting on a tripod and I'm able to level the rifle using this tripod. If you don't have this set up, that's okay. Just either level it off the bottom of the Arca rail here using a carpenter's level, or you can level it off the top of the Picatinny rail, or there are other accessories that you can clamp to the barrel to check the level to keep the rifle itself level. But in this case, I've got a level on my tripod and I'm able to get the rifle itself level to begin with. So we're starting with a level rifle. Okay, so with the rings, what we're gonna do is figure out where we want our scope placed. So if we can, we're gonna try to keep our rings as wide as possible to spread any load across a greater area. So the wider the rings are on your rifle, the more uh, stability that that scope tube will have. So if you're using a one piece mount like this or rings, they're gonna install very similarly. So we're gonna go ahead and set these on here, make sure that the rings are pushed forward in their mounts. All I'm gonna do is just real lightly install the top ring caps and then that way it's stable so that I can push any slack out of each ring forward. And as I'm doing this, I just wanna make sure that I don't have any binding. So as I'm moving this scope forward and backwards, it shouldn't be tight, it should move nice and easy. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and make sure that our level will go on. So we're gonna place a level on the scope in order to make sure that when we take shots that the reticle is level with the world. So we wanna get this installed before we get too carried away here and just make sure that we're gonna be able to see it and that it'll go on the scope. There's nothing worse than having that scope put on and then having to take it back off because you can't get your level on. The question would be where do we wanna put this level? and you can put it anywhere you can see it on the main scope tube. Personally, I usually put it right behind the parallax knob. And what that'll do for you is it'll allow you to be able to see it right across the top of the parallax knob, which is the knob on this side of the scope. And by being able to see it, you can still see the numbers on your parallax knob and you can see your level in that location. If you bring it back behind the turret, then sometimes it blocks the view of the parallax knob. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna find where we need the scope front to back based on the relationship of your body and the buttstock length and your cheek weld and eye relief. So I'm gonna get behind the scope and I'm gonna move that scope forward and backwards until I get a good centered eye box. So the, what the eye box is, is the area that you have a good clear picture looking through the scope. So if you push it too far forward, you'll start to get a tunnel. And if you push it too far back, you'll start to get a tunnel. So you wanna find that front edge, find the rear edge, and then center it right in the middle, okay? All right, so now that we've got the scope centered where we want it in the eye box, and we've got our Link the pull set and the rifle's ready to go. We're gonna go ahead and just snug the rings up a little bit so that we can move the rifle without worrying about the scope moving. And then we're gonna check the, to make sure that the reticle is plumb. So we've got a plumb line down range. And what we're gonna do is make sure that that plumb line and the reticle are perfectly plumb with each other so that we can set our reticle level with the world. Okay, we wanna make sure that as we tighten these rings down, that we have an equal gap on each side as long as that's how the manufacturer says to do it. So with these, we would wanna just make sure that as we start to tighten the rings down, we've got an equal gap on each side, meaning one side's not closed all the way up and the other side still has a gap. All right, so as you're doing this, you wanna make sure that you're just barely tightening these rings down so that you're not over torquing the rings. Now we're gonna install a torque limiter that's set to 20 inch pounds and we're gonna go for a final pass. Cool, now that we've got the top caps torqued, I'm gonna to go ahead and torque the Picatinny mounts for the scope rings 
and you're gonna torque those to your manufacturer's torque specs. All right, so the reason that it's important that we get our scope set up properly is so that we have proper eye relief, so that we get the best picture possible looking through the scope. And we want the scope level so that as we dial up for those longer shots, you're not getting windage induced into your firing solution due to the scope not being level. 